Hey everybody, Ron from Back in the Fairway here, and I just finished my first round with this ball right here. Um, let me see if I can get that zoomed in a little bit for you. Mm, nope, it's going to lock on me. That's fine. Anyway, this is a ball that cost me less than a dollar. This is a ball that retails for almost $4. <laughs> now, what's the difference? This ball right here is from a company called LostGolfBalls.com. Um, they specialize in rehabbing, refurbing, and reselling used balls. Um, I'm assuming that they're all used. There may be some practice balls in there. There may be some found balls in there. I'm not sure. I don't really care. The big difference was, again, this was about $12 a dozen. This one here is $45 a dozen. Now, the question is, What's the difference? So anyway, I had both of these out at um, Echo Falls today for nine holes. And honest to goodness, I wouldn't be able to tell you which is which, except for one has a refurbished stamp on it. <laughs> um, the outer pieces of the ball held up just the same as the new one. The wedge plays, I mean, I got to tell you. I wouldn't be able to tell you which one was and wasn't the refurbished model. It is starkly crazy how amazingly well a rehab refurb golf ball played for me today. Um, that said, I do want to withhold judgment for a moment because I didn't really enjoy the Callaway Chrome Soft X. Um, distance was good. The feel around the green was okay. Um, it didn't do much more for me than my usual Wilson balls that I played. Uh, that said, if I could get them at 12 bucks a dozen all year round, I would play them in a heartbeat. Uh, very, very good performing ball for a dollar a ball. Um, but anyway, let's get back to lostgolfballs.com because that's what this really is about. I want to preach the value that they offer. Um, as many of you know, when this started off years ago as a blog, um, I was an extremely decent golfer let's say, you know, single digit handicap uh, with a zero budget to play. I have a daughter who dances. I have a home, a house, a wife, a car. You add everything up at the end of the day. <sighs> There's just not a lot left over for playing games. And honestly, as much as all of us want to be serious about, you know, oh, someday we're going to be a great golfer, blah, mm, it's a game, people. And things like this make the game a lot more enjoyable. Um, so starting out, again, it was a budget finding blog. Um, I used to preach the consistency of finding a ball and sticking to it. Uh, I won't change that. I have still been playing the same Wilson Staff Duo spins now for over a year. Um, they are my dry weather ball. I will play them until they are gone out of my garage. I have a couple more dozen left to get through uh, before I do make a major change. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to play and test out some now. Um, so anyway, I picked up a sleeve of the brand new Chrome Softs at the uh, Pro Shop at the course. Uh, they were a little bit more than the dozen price were, obviously. I think I paid closer to 10, no, I think it was closer to 15 bucks for the three pack. But if you buy them by the dozen, 39 bucks a piece plus tax, put them at about 45. That's a pretty expensive ball overall. Um, this one right here came from used go lostgolfballs.com. Um, I'm going to try to remember to put a link down below to them. Um, they have an extreme assortment of balls, and they range anywhere from about $5 a dozen out to $20 a dozen. Um, something to keep in mind, my refurbished ball would not be legal in a lot of tournament plays because it has been resurfaced. Um, the regular... Chrome Softs would be. So something you'd want to weigh in there is practice with the cheapies, play with the good ones. I don't know. Um, it's one of those one of those questionable, and actually I had that backwards, I'm sorry. That was the good one. This was the, the refurb. <laughs> you can see how good this ball is, though. Um, anyway, the condition of the refurbished ball is really what I want to talk about. Um, I can't really do this well enough on here to show you how clean this ball is, even after all the holes that it went through today. Um, it, a remarkably good wear. 
Um, again, the fairways are wet and there's not a whole lot of debris on the greens or anything like that at this point in time. So there's not a lot to chop up to cover. Um, I was using my milled grind wedges today, which do tend to, uh, scuff them a little bit on full shots. Fortunately, it is Echo Falls. Didn't have a whole lot of full shots today with wedges. Um, I did have a couple of brilliant six irons with it today that didn't even leave a mark. Um, somehow I got a little yellow tinge going on the bottom of this one. I'm thinking that may have been a T mark from a previous user. I don't know, don't really care. Like I said, the ball itself performed beautifully. Um, just not well enough for me to consider $45 a dozen when I can maybe look at some other things. That said, when it comes tournament time and I am out of duo spins, it could be a front runner right off the bat. Um, again, distance off the driver with the Chrome Soft X was beautiful. Spin into the greens was more than adequate. Uh, the only thing this ball has going against it right now is the fact that, you know, retail price on them for, for the current year model should be about $45 to $50 a dozen. Uh, last year's model is on clearance right now for $40 most places. It's a really good ball. I'm just not in the neighborhood of wanting to spend that on a ball that could last me one shot or an entire round. Okay, so now that I've rounded that up, lostballs.com steps in right there. They say, well, somebody else lost it, so now you can have it, and we'll clean it up and sell it to you dirt cheap. Um, I ended up having three dozen balls sent to me. One was the Callaway Tour, Tour Chrome Soft X, and then the Titleist Pro V1, not the X version, the standard version. Um, I demoed that ball when I was fit for my Rogue and the numbers were fantastic with it. So I wanna make sure that I try that ball out on the course and see if it does give me a, a, a variable difference in spin and distance and everything that I was seeing at the shop. Um, and then of course the third one is the Srixon and I'm gonna mess this up, the Z Tour XV, VX, which I, I haven't taken that one out yet, so I'll get to that one soon. But honestly, um, they're supposed to all three be stellar tour balls. I didn't pay more than $15 a dozen for any of the three. Um, and what I walked out of the, you know, the deal with was more than $130 worth of balls new. So when I walk out with a $40 bill versus a $150 bill, it's, it's pretty stellar. Um, but first impressions on the Callaway, absolutely phenomenal. If you are a, a premium ball player, uh, especially in the winter months when you're not posting, pick up a few dozen of these to play with. Pick up a few dozen to practice with. Take them out for your evening rounds during the summer where you're not scoring, you're just playing to get in some time. Um, these will save you a fortune. And lostgolfballs.com, I mean, these guys, crush the quality. And again, this is a, a dollar ball here. This is a, probably put it in the new ball sleeve and nobody would know the difference if I just acetoned off the little, uh, you know, refurbished mark there. But that is the only difference in this ball. It is not, uh, performance wise, it was exactly the same. So to everybody at lostgolfballs.com, fantastic job. Um, I couldn't have been happier with these. Um, again, if I'm comparing cost to cost, these are a killer ball for a killer price. If I'm going to the $45 mark, I got to see what else is out there before I say this is the best or this is the ball to have. But um, wow, lostgolfballs.com, you made life easy for me to try these out and test them out. Um, I can't say enough good things about you. So if you are in the market for a premium ball and don't want to spend a fortune, go out, buy a couple of boxes of the different ones you want to try. Then you can grab like a 96 pack for under like 75 cents a ball in this one. You can grab a 144 pack in the TaylorMades for 60 cents a ball or something ridiculous. It is amazing how great a deals they have. Um, also, these are the refurb models. They also have non-refurbs that may have logo overruns or just mint condition balls. Those are not to be overlooked either. Those would be legal in tournament play. Um, anyway, yeah, so that wraps up the first look at my first dozen from lostgolfballs.com. 
absolutely loved them. Um, highly recommend them. Cannot wait to hear from you guys if you've ever tried ordering from lostgolfballs.com. What was your experience? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, would love to hear more from you guys. And again, uh, more budget features coming and how to get more from your golf in 2019, um, including my $1,000 tournament bag. Yes, you heard that correctly. Anyway, uh, we'll catch you in the next video and we'll see you soon.